Hi and welcome to the channel and today what we've got is the unboxing and the making and putting together of the Puma from uh, Warlord Games. A uh, nice little model that I wanted to uh, add into my army. Uh, never ran it in version 1 when it was uh, seen to be the cheese of the game with its recce and its medium anti-tank gun. Uh, but as we moved into, into version 2 I've decided to give it a run out for my late war Germans just to give it a bit more variation. So we're going to go through and have a look at the Puma, put it together and uh, have a few looks at my comments upon how it, it all works. So uh, next up then is uh, opening it up and having a look at the contents. So what do we get? We get a nice uh, sealed envelope with the bits and pieces in it. Uh, two sprues and the instructions and the decals. You can just about see them there. Uh, yep, so all nice and neat and tidy to, uh, to have a look and go through. Uh, looked at section A and section B, and I'm thinking, oh, they look fiddly. But we'll uh, we'll have a look and see how they go, and uh, we'll put it together and uh, give you my thoughts upon that. So started on it, and uh, as I thought, yes, it was fiddly. Uh, you've got the support struts that stick out from either side, uh, and then you've got a little bit of plastic that goes between the supports, and there's some springs. Uh, two on either side underneath that and then the uh, the wheels to go across. Uh, if you've got small steady fingers then you should be fine. However if you've got big fat fingers uh, or even big fingers uh, and are not so good and your eyesight is not so good uh, it is a little bit uh, more tricky for you. But uh, we did manage to get it done and we got all the supports and all the plastic bars on in the right place. Put the wheels on uh, as you can see. They are a little bit more um, wiggly, but I, I put it down to it's got uh, eight-wheel drive, I'm led to believe, so each one independent of each other, so uh, they can go any which way. That's my excuse, and I'm going to stick to it. So here we have the uh, the lower hull with all the wheels on now, and yep, uh, starting to look okay, and what we've got to do next is do the upper hull and put the turret together. Um, looking at the uh, pictures for that, it all seems pretty straightforward and fairly easy. So I'm hoping that there's uh, no problem with that. So uh, on to the turret and the top of the hull. Top of the hull and the uh, odds and ends and the storage uh, on. Um, I would say put your headlights on first before you put your jerry cans on the front of the front fender. Uh, I found that it was a little bit tight once I'd stuck the jerry cans on. So I would suggest that. Put your headlights on first with that uh, little bit. So all the other little bits, uh, yeah, same with the antenna for your in indicators. Uh, uh, they need room to go on at the front end. But other than that, that uh, upper hole went fine. Uh, went together okay. Uh, and it looks quite nice with all the little bits and pieces. Turret, I would suggest to uh, dry fit. Uh, I found it pretty fiddly to do the two uh, hull, uh, the two hatches on top of the turret. They uh, just get them in. They've got a tag underneath, uh, and I found that difficult to fit into the, the holes. But uh, should be okay, and that was done. Uh, so uh, ready to put them together and have a look what it looks like. Yeah, so here we've got the completed model with the turret affixed, uh, looking very nice. And uh, it's got the uh, the storage all set up on it. Uh, and uh, quite pleased with how it uh, came out. Next uh, up I shall be doing the painting. Uh, painting paints that I shall be using are the uh, Vallejo uh, acrylics uh, and a bit of GW just that I've got those uh, hanging over. So main colours uh, it'll be the uh, yellow ochre as its um, main base coat and then we'll do the uh, refractive green for the the camo and you can see how that comes out so next up uh, the start of the painting the uh, the base coat I uh, use for all my figures is her uh, humbral acrylic spray dark earth I find it gives it a nice base uh, uh, to put the paints over the top so let's move on to the painting okay so here you see the basic uh, block painting of it. I did the uh, the base uh, based coat 
with Humbrol Dark Earth Acrylic Spray. Uh, I've then gone over that with Yellow Ochre, the Vallejo colour, and then Vallejo Refractive Green, uh, black for the wheels. And that gives it its first uh, main camouflage coat. I'm just going to stick to the two colours, I think, for this. Uh, next up will be a wash with either Strong Tone or Agrat's Earthshade. Uh, and then we'll put on the uh, decal and then we'll start uh, just highlighting it up a little bit on the green just to give it a little bit of a uh, life uh, and then start to look at a bit of weathering uh, perhaps a bit of a chipped along the edges because I think this one will be quite nice with a bit of that so uh, I'll do the wash and I'll uh, post a picture of that and then I'll uh, start doing the highlighting of the uh, the green splodges and a bit of the highlighting of the uh, the yellow ochre and then we'll see what it looks like at that stage before we move on to do anything else so uh, back soon well unfortunately I forgot to take a picture of it with it just the uh, agrist earthshade wash over the top but uh, here we are here we've got the uh, the finished uh, vehicle uh, I didn't go for chippings in the end uh, what I've done is I've uh, gone dry brushed over the vehicle to give it that dusty and weathered look um, I've used a, a sort of pale earth colour for it and it seems to have come up okay and that should fit in with the other vehicles that I've got uh, for my late Germans uh, within the uh, system that I'm running at the moment so next up on my order list is the uh, 222 that uh, should be coming through for a tournament, but timing is running out. Uh, if it's not in the shop today, it's unlikely to arrive in time for the tournament on February the 11th. But uh, I'll just have to take my uh, Rad 8, the uh, armoured car for that one. Just a bit bigger armoured car. So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching these. And... Um, I'm considering getting a uh, an airbrush to help me do the vehicles, but um, I don't know when that might be. Um, certainly not this month, but uh, it is a thought process to help me with the tanks. Uh, so if you liked it, please uh, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. And see you next time with uh, either a battle report or another um, modelling video. Thanks very much.